What is going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Today we're going to be unboxing a package that we have been waiting for for over a month. Just got a delivery from Electro & Co, which should be the QS138 V3 kit that we ordered for the Yamaha YC250 electric dirt bike conversion. Let's go open it up and see what's inside. And in case you're new to this channel, I make a lot of modification content based off of these Razer MX650s from simple bolt-ons to full-on 72 bolt conversions. I also have several other gas powered dirt bikes in which two of them are currently being converted to electric. The powertrain that we're going over today is what's being used in this 2006 Yamaha YZ250. This is much bigger in person than it looks in pictures. What might sound crazy is I actually just ordered a second QS138 kit for my other bike, uh, but from a different vendor. So we'll see how different it is from this kit. So here is everything that we received in the package, starting with the voltmeter, the power switch and mode selector switch, the throttle, Boto EM260 controller. I actually ordered an EM200, but it was gonna take them a little while longer to get those in stock. And they were able to get this one a little quicker. So thank you and Electro and Co for upgrading me to this. Some of their decals, some pro taper grips. And then this harness is supposed to make everything plug and play. So no splicing or repinning connectors. They've already repinned everything for you, which should make the install pretty easy. Pretty excited for that. And then here is the QS138 70H motor with the built-in gear reduction. It's got four mounting points. We'll go over the measurements in a little bit. It did not come with instructions though, but it's pretty easy to figure out. If we look over all the components, it's very similar to all the brushless kits that we've installed in the past, just at a much larger scale. The voltmeter is very similar design to the ones that we've been using on all the other projects, though it's not key. They also replaced the connector with like a seal type, which it has additional protection. Looks like they use the same type of connectors on the other components. Power switch, mode switch. Not sure what the other modes are. We'll look more into that in just a moment. I really like the throttle. It's high tension, so it's very unlikely to get stuck. I've never used this brand before. Here's what brand it is. And it's stamp ETS.2 on the other side. Let me know if you have experience with this and what you think about it. The EM260 controller is a lot bigger in person. It's hard to tell these dimensions uh, in these photos to get an idea, but it is a little bigger than I thought. Shouldn't have a problem fitting it on the YZ though. This is rated for 25 kilowatts, which is almost 35 horsepower. Obviously the actual output of the bike is gonna be dependent on which battery you go with and what kind of BMS it has. The grips are pro taper. These are the same exact ones we used on the black MX650. I really like it. Very comfortable, very soft. The harness will go over in more detail in a little bit. I'm actually gonna hook everything together so to give you guys a general idea of how it installs. This motor is huge. Uh, obviously in comparison to like a MY1020 or EC4P, um, it's a lot larger in size since this has a much higher out power output. The idea is the same, multi-pin connector, three phase wires. One thing I'm disappointed about is one of the phase wires got pinched uh, during shipment. It looks like UPS may have dropped the package and this banged up against one of the mounting points. Luckily, it didn't pierce through the insulation, but for peace of mind, I am gonna add a key shrink wrap on top of that. And as far as dimensions, the whole thing is about nine inches wide, four mounting points. One is three and an eighth three and an eighth, a little under three and a quarter, and three and five eighths. Hopefully it'll bolt right on. 
Worst case scenario, we'll get custom brackets made. The whole shipment weighed 38 pounds, which is obviously a lot lighter than the two-stroke engine setup, but I'm gonna wait for the battery to come in and weigh that to get an idea how much actual weight we're saving with this conversion. The good thing about this is there's only one way to hook it up since all the connectors are different designs. There's no way to switch them up. So the three phase wires are color coded. And here's the main plug for the plug and play harness. Here's how the rest of the connectors hooked up. This is the only one that I don't have hooked up to anything. If you happen to know what this is, comment below. And then power supply wires for the battery. I almost forgot to give you guys the dimensions for the EM260 controller. It is nine inches long, six inches wide, and three inches tall. So I'm definitely gonna have to get some custom brackets fabricated to get this motor properly mounted on the frame. But I just wanna give you guys a general idea of how it's gonna sit. I'm gonna use this bottom bracket as a starting point and bolt it on this tab on the left side of the frame and a combination of M8, M10 hardware and some spacers to position it so we can get the sprocket lined up with a chain. And then I'll get some custom brackets made from these tabs going to these tabs that are likely gonna be slotted so I can easily rotate the whole motor and tighten it accordingly to get the chain properly tensioned. I'll likely be using send cut send for the custom brackets, but I'll go over that in more detail on the next video when I have them perfectly measured and made. And as far as the controller, I was initially thinking about mounting it inside the tank, but it seems to fit right in this airbox area too perfectly. And it's nice and flush on the top side of the subframe. I'm just gonna end up making a cover on this side to prevent it from getting wet. All right guys, well now I got a general idea of how I want everything installed. I'm gonna do a bunch of measurements and get those brackets ordered up so I can get you guys a very detailed install video. So make sure you subscribe and turn your bell notification on if you don't wanna miss that. Also, I have a tracking number from Morge so I know my battery is on its way to the US. Hopefully I get that before the end of the week so we can finally hook it up and do some testing. If you found today's video helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like this kind of content, want to keep up with some of my projects such as the YZE, the TTRE, or any of my other bikes, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.